Oh my god, why am I brain farting right now? Is it better to write in first or third person? Well, obviously that depends on what you're trying to convey and how you're trying to connect with the reader. And today we're going to be talking about the positives and negatives of each perspective writing style, first and third person. It's really important to decide which perspective you're going to be using prior to starting your story because if let's say that you finish an entire novel, right? And you decide, all right, I'm going to go from third to first person. Guess what? You have to go and rewrite most of your novel because uh, you have to make sure that all of the tense, all everything is so uh, consistent. So in order to avoid all of that mishap, we're gonna choose the right writing perspective for we start the project. So we're gonna be using Dorian, which is a narrative platform for visual novel games that allows for writers to create games and monetize them without having any coding experience. But we're gonna talk about more of them later. They're the sponsor for today's video. Before we get too deep, I'm Brandon Chen. I'm an author for manga, novels, webtoons, and video games professionally. This is all I do. Um, and if you wanna support the channel, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more writing tip content and just general educational content on the manga and anime industry all right let's get into the video first person what is it well it's basically when the narrator is a character in the actual story so they're gonna be telling everything from their point of view so if you're using sentences like i went to the store i robbed the bank i killed this guy last weekend what did he say hey. oh. dawa if you're editing this cut out everything that i just said psych <laughs> Those are the types of sentences that you're going to be writing in first person, right? So what are the benefits for first person? Well, it's pretty simple. You're writing from the narrator's perspective. So it's super easy to get into the narrator's head in a very seamless way. You can write about what the narrator or character is thinking, what they're feeling, both physically and emotionally. First person is really just an easy way for writers to connect a character with a reader. So we're going to use an example here in Dorian's engine. If you didn't know, Dorian is a visual novel app. It lets writers create visual novel games and Atome games in minutes. You don't even need our assets. You can actually literally use theirs. Uh, also, you can monetize the games that you make. So it's a really awesome platform, especially for writers. Definitely click on the link in my description if you're interested in signing up for free as a writer. Anyway, here's the example. I could feel the rage coursing through my veins. I knew Emily hated me, but why would she do this? So this is a really basic example example of feeling that is being conveyed by a narrator and then also because the narrator is the character we get to ask questions right because in this scenario the narrator is experiencing things at the same time as the reader so it's pretty cool in first person because as the writer we're able to basically tell the story as if you know we're coming from the character this really builds that connection between the character and the reader. And it also really makes the narrative very simplified because we're really just telling the entire story from one character's point of view, right? So those are a lot of benefits. Let's talk a little bit about some negatives. What are some downsides? One, limited knowledge. Because we're tied to one character's narrative, we only know as much as what that character knows, which is sometimes a benefit, sometimes it's not a benefit because now you're kind of narrow-minded in terms of what you're able to tell and the flexibility that you have as a writer but yeah i would say also another weakness is that it's a lot harder to explore other perspectives within the narrative because you're tied to the main character that's a pretty obvious pitfall so it seems like there's a lot of benefits and a few negatives to doing first person let's talk a little bit about third person because third person is the main writing style that i will use for most of my works so what's so good about third person writing well one you're omniscient so the narrator isn't really in the story and so therefore you're boundless in the different types of things that you're allowed to tell the information that you're allowed to convey to the reader etc two you're allowed to do multiple character povs so you can jump from character one character two Two, you know, Naruto Sasuke, you can tell the story from everyone's point of view. Doesn't matter. You're limitless once again. Three, objective writing, which means that you can basically write without the bias of a narrator, right? Because if you have character one and they're, so if you have character one and they're telling the story from a certain perspective, they might have a certain type of bias. Like if I'm character one and I really like Kira, right? If I really like this girl Kira, then I'm going to talk, convey her in a certain way, right? Versus like, if I'm a third person narrator, I will describe her probably differently and more objectively. The fourth benefit of third person writing is that you can still achieve the closeness that you have in first person narrative, uh, first person point of view by using this tactic called third person limited, which is basically the first person writing style, writing perspective, except you're just writing it in third person. So it's basically the same thing, except you're just using third person language. And so here's a previous example, except uh, it's been written in the third person. Uh, so essentially you can capture the same benefits of the first person perspective writing in third person as well. 
Now, what is a weakness of doing the third person writing? Well, because you're allowed to skip around to so many different perspectives, many beginner writers are going to include too many perspectives and that can clutter the narrative, right? So if you have eight characters, inherently the connection between the reader and each of those characters is gonna be diluted and not as strong as versus if you have a narrative where you're only looking at the perspectives of three characters, right? If you're looking at Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron, you're more likely to like those three characters than if you were to explore the characters of all the Power Rangers uh, in a story, right? So I think that's really the main downside of third person. I would say third person is the most flexible of the two writing perspectives that we just mentioned. Now, consensus, which one is better? Well, it depends, obviously. Generally, if you're a brand new writer, first person writing is the easiest to start with because there are certain limitations to it, like we talked about, right? You're only creating the narrative from one person's point of view and you're basically talking directly to the reader so it's a lot easier to just build that connection then you know as people you tend to progress they decide to write fantasy or whatever it is they can progress into third person narration which is ultimately like a boundless writing perspective other than that it's really up to your stylistic decisions for how you want your story to be conveyed like i said choose your perspective before you get too deep into writing choose your perspective please save yourself the time it's a pain in the ass to go back i know but there's actually scenarios like, uh, for example, Blue Spark, which is my story on Dorian. I write it in first person, but whenever I want to hop to other perspectives outside of the main character, her name is Clara, then I will switch to third person narration uh, for other characters. So there's actually opportunities, if you're interested, to use both first person and third person narration in your stories, if that's something you're, that you're interested in. Anyway, that is the end of the video. Thank you to Dorian for sponsoring the video. Make sure to check them out in the link in the description and uh, leave a comment on what kind of other writing tips that you guys wanna see in the future. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. Peace out.